In this video, I'll show you a little quality of life utility for Rigify that I made myself. It streamlines the cycle of generating a Rigify rig, going back to the meta rig to tweak it, and then regenerating again. This can save you a lot of clicks. I made this tool for my new course, Modular Face Rigging with Rigify, which you can check out on academy.cgdive.com courses. But this utility can be useful as a general tool. So I decided to make it available to everyone. It is free. So let me quickly show you the problem that we are solving. If I create some sort of a meta rig, I can generate it and the meta rig will stay in the scene. So I would usually go to the outliner and hide it. Then I can go to pose mode. And often, especially when learning about rig types and so on, I want to see the deformation bones. So I have to go to the armature tab, unhide the deformation bones, do my tests and then it's very common that I want to go back to my meta rig. So I have to go to object mode, unhide the meta rig, select it, go to edit mode. So I can just go to edit preferences, add-ons, click install. And here is the script. It's a single pi file, but you install it just like other add-ons. Just select it, click install add-on, activate it. And it will be here in the end panel under item tab. This is where the Rigify menu appears, so I thought the item tab was a good place for it. So I'll start with a fresh file. I'll create a meta rig. Then in my add-on, I need to set the meta rig. And then I can just press the generate rig button. And that will generate the rig and at the same time hide the meta rig, which is what I want 99% of the time. I can also enable deformation bones and click generate rig and my rig was regenerated with the deformed bones shown and I didn't even have to go back to the meta rig. I just pressed the button and the deformation bones appeared. So I'm actually always going to enable deformation bones and overwrite widgets. Overwrite widgets ensures that when you regenerate the rig, any changes that you did to any widgets in the meta rig will be updated. Also, you can set the bone display type for the generated rig. I set it to B-Bone by default. So with one click, you generate your rig, you hide the meta rig, you enable the deforming bones and update the widgets and also set the bone display to bendy bones. And something else that we'll be doing a lot is switching from the generated rig back to the meta rig. With my add-on, I can do this again in one click. I just click edit meta rig and my meta rig will appear even though it was hidden. It will appear and it will be in edit mode and I can start editing it and then generate again, and then edit again. Just a quick note about Blender 4.2. And they change the way you install add-ons a little bit. We now have this concept of extensions, but you need to go to your add-ons, click on this triangle here, click install from disk, and then install the add-on in the same way. And it will be activated automatically in this version. But other than that, um, you can use it the same way. Right now, the only way to get this add-on is to go to my courses on academy.cjdive.com slash courses, click on the modular face rigging course, and I have made the first couple of chapters free. Check them out if you're interested in the course, but the add-on is in chapter two and you'll be able to download these files here. I also made sure that the add-on works in older versions of Blender. Officially, I have tested it in all versions from Blender 3 up to Blender 4.2. Make sure to get the right add-on for your Blender version. There is one variation for the Blender 3 series, one for Blender 4 and one for Blender 4.1 and 4.2. In the future, I may give the add-on a dedicated space on my Gumroad page or on Blender Market, just check the description box below this video and you'll find the most up-to-date download links. For now, this is just a small utility. It is free. I want you to try it and let me know what you think. I have some ideas how to improve it and if there is a lot of interest, I may try to implement some user ideas. If it becomes a much bigger project, it may become a paid add-on at some point. These are just speculations, but I just want to be clear from the start but at least this basic version will always be free. So grab the add-on and I would love to hear your feedback. You can leave a comment below this video or you can contact me on academy.cgdive.com 
and just go to the contact page. And please check out the Rigify Modular Face Rigging Course. It's a truly unique course, you won't find this type of information anywhere else.